What's up, everybody? This is Dana Barrows. We're back at the Dana Barrows Basketball Club for episode two of our skill set. Today's focus is going to be more on off the dribble pull up moves. Let's take a look at these sets. In this first clip, what you're going to see is the ball handler come down the floor, go behind the back just to get the defense moving, come back between the legs, and pull up for the jump shot. So here in clip one, what you're going to see is me come down the floor, go behind the back just to move the defender back between the legs for a power dribble into a pull-up jump shot off the right-hand side. Now, as you watch these players go through the skills, it's never going in a straight line. I try to always move the defender right to left or left to right, whether it's a pick and roll or it's a straight up man-to-man -man situation. So once again, behind the back, between the legs into a power pull-up dribble jump shot. Arrows behind the back. He'll stop and put up a three. All right, the second drill, what you're gonna see is, you're gonna see me come down, cross over high with the right, back between the legs, pull up jumper to the right. So here in clip two, you're gonna see a one-on-one -on -one situation here with Steve Kerr. Once again, I cross over from right to left, back between the legs, and use a step back dribble to create space to get the jump shot off. Those moves are never in circles, they're never in straight lines, they're always angles. So as you watch here, cross over an angle, back between the legs angle, those are more V-cut angles instead of curve angles. That will allow you to beat the defender more easily. Again, V-cut, V-cut, step back, create space, pull up jump shot. Okay, in this clip, it's gonna be a little more complicated. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go between the legs from left to right, bring it back, between the legs from left to right again, hard dribble right, step back, pull up jump shot. Everything has to be maintained from a balance standpoint in order for this move to work. Now in this clip, you're gonna see a one-on-one -on -one situation with Dennis Rodman off the switch right here. So you're gonna see me what I call rock him to sleep. I slowly go to between the legs just to get him off of his space. And I never let him settle down into his defensive position. Again, I hit him with another between the legs. A small hesitation, pull up jump shot, power dribble to the right. Him being a big guy, I have to take advantage of his footwork. If I try to drive a direct line to the basket, him being a great defender, he'll have a better chance of blocking the shot. But as you see here, as the player does the skill set, it's so much movement in this in this move right here. It's hard for the defender the defender to sit down and actually feel what I'm trying to do from a defensive standpoint. So again, it's all about movement. It's all about V cuts. It's never straight lines and circles. We try to move at angles. Okay, as we go through these drills, I want to give you a 30 second to a minute breakdown of how I want the shot to finish. So, when we set up, the most important thing is how we square ourselves to the basket. We don't want this, and we don't want this. All right, so we're gonna step into our slot, square our body up, we want to dribble on this line, and bring the ball up right on this line. Don't come inside and then back out. So that's the first key is, is alignment. So we're gonna line up, bend and push. Hand straight. Now, that's off a standstill shot. Okay, so if I'm pulling up off the dribble, I wanna break that down into the same components. I wanna come to, if I'm dribbling to the right, I wanna dribble to the right, I wanna come into my shot, and I wanna be fully square. So I just want everyone to understand, everything that we're teaching you, whether last session, this session, and the, and the sessions coming forward, it's all about the technical aspect of what we're trying to teach. You can do the moves a million times. If they're not done the right way, you're just doing bad moves or taking bad shots. So videotape yourself when you're doing this and evaluate yourself on how you make the moves happen and how you finish at the basket. Don't just do the move, you know, all over the place and not really understand the technical aspects of what we're trying to teach you. Welcome back. Tuesday, coming back for a little snippet.
little bit of quick ball handling warm up. A little something you can do during the quarantine. All right, so like I said, every Tuesday and Thursday, we're gonna be doing a little um, ball handling exercise and stuff you could do home during the quarantine. All right, let's get it. We're gonna stop with the right hand pounds, right into the right hand lows. Try to get about 20 pounds. Go right into it. We're gonna do a continuous crossover through the legs. Ready? Remember, these are just the warm-up drills. Some of that you should be doing every day. Continuous back and forth crossovers. Remember, this is just warm up. Things that you could be working on at home without a basketball hoop or just basketball. Ready? Remember, every time you're doing a basketball drill, as far as dribbling, you should be trying to speed it up every time to work on efficiency. So if I'm in a game and I practice and I'm working on my dribbling and I'm going slow. When I'm in a game, it won't translate into my moves in the game. So I want to speed everything up as I'm, as I'm going through my workouts, all right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a pound, cross through the legs behind the back. All right, one to go. Make sure you build a rhythm. So it will be pound, one, two, three. Pound, one, two, three. All right? So we're gonna do it continuous through each leg, all right? Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. get a, ry a rhythm, continue to speed it up. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go back, we're gonna back it up a little bit, and we're gonna do what we just did, movement. So we're gonna go pound, cross over between the legs behind the back, movement, going forward. All right, we're gonna back, back up and do the same thing. and Thursday, we're going to practice a little warm-up and a couple things that you could do at home during the quarantine while, um, while start trying to stay in game shape for basketball. Things that will polish up your skills with ball handling, all right? Everybody have a good day and stay safe. <laughs>